So I've recently been testing the Maker 16mm T2.2 prime lens, cinema lens, and here's my thoughts. First of all, what exactly is a cinema lens and how does it differ from a standard lens? You might notice that it's got a T sort of number rather than a traditional F stop. And believe it or not, when you have an F stop, it's pretty much an approximation. It's got a bit of wiggle room either way as to where exactly it is sort of aperture wise. In cinema, when you're filming multiple angles from sort of the same take, you cannot afford really to have any sort of wiggle room because the exposure might, might be well off from one angle to the other. So a T-stop is hand engineered exactly so you know that it's T2.2. That way if you had other lenses in your arsenal that were other T-stops, you could put them multiple angles and you know the exposure would be identical. I hope that makes sense. Another cine lens characteristic is the long focus throw and the smooth aperture ring. They're ridged, so they're designed to be used with um, a focus pulling device, but you can use it by hand. Just be aware that if you do use it by hand, the focus throw is very long indeed, so it can take you a little while to get from point A to B. But with it being so smooth and so easy to use, I found it an absolute joy to work with. So how does it look? That's the important thing. As you can see from the test footage, I found it very clear, very sharp, very, very pleasing to use. The focus breathing is very minimal, so you can pull focus from one thing to the next without the scene getting all weird and wobbly. And it has 10 rounded aperture blades, so the bokeh is completely, perfectly round and incredibly pleasing, and it just looks gorgeous. I tested it in some sort of bright situations, high contrast situations, to really try and pull out any sort of purple fringing or other chromatic aberration. And I found it to be incredibly minimal, even at 2.2, I keep calling it F2.2, even at T2.2, the chromatic aberration, etc., seems to be absolutely minimal. And it just goes to show how good optically this lens is, because some of these conditions were quite challenging. To get the most out of this lens without cranking the shutter or the aperture ridiculously, I used it in conjunction with a Gobi variable ND filter. And as an aside, if you were to buy this lens and wanted a filter for it, it's such a good combination. I didn't find any dodgy color cast. It worked superbly and it's just got the right amount of um, premium build quality to match the cine lens as well. So good combo. I also, managed to balance this very easily on my Zion Weebill lab with my GH5. Because this lens is quite heavy and premium and larger than most micro four thirds lenses, I was slightly worried that I would have to sort of pull out my crane too for this, uh, but very happy to report that it will balance absolutely fine on a Weebill lab. I really don't have very much negative to say about this lens. I think the only thing to take with a pinch of salt is this is my first cinema lens. So you could argue that I would be blown away with any one that I got, <laughs> just to be completely candid. But I am incredibly impressed with the results. I find using it an absolute joy. There's just something tangible and tactical and Oh, I just, when you're moving the, the rings and, and getting everything right in camera, it is so nice to use. So yeah, I don't have very many negative things to say. In terms of Micro Four Thirds, of course, because it is a cinema lens, it's not something you're going to be whacking out for photography very often. <laughs> so it's probably not the most versatile lens to choose if you're in the market. But if you are looking for something to sort of pull up the quality of your video work, this lens and apparently Maker are bringing out a, a number of different ones as well. I know the 25 mils out, but they're doing some more. So if you wanted sort of a collection of cinema lenses to use, really high quality primes, these are definitely the most affordable ones on the system at the moment. If you watch this channel at all, you'll probably know that my video lens of choice, which I'm filming on right now, is the Leica Lumix F1.4 25 mil love it. I shoot most of my weddings with that, I shoot most of everything with it because I think it's so high quality, but it is a bit one note at that focal length. So going forward, I'm going to have my 16mm, my 25 and then I usually take sort of a macro lens like my 60mm 
um, Olympus or the Seven Artisans one to get sort of more detailed shots. So that is my new lineup for my paid work. So I'm very, very happy that I'm going to get loads of use out of this. If you have any questions at all, do let me know. I hope you enjoyed the test footage and check out the information on the lens in the link below. Yes, for an average prime, it's quite expensive, but for a cinema prime, it's three numbers instead of four, so we can't moan. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>